Hi everyone, welcome to Remote Moms Movement. I am Chi Pai Baswarnes, and today we're going to answer a question that was sent um, via Facebook groups. And uh, this came from Zuri. And so thank you, thank you, Zuri, for your question. So the um, question natin today is, how can we identify kung ang job posting is from a direct client? And um, I think this is a very important question because um, working with direct clients help us get paid more. Um, personally, that's my take on that. When you work with a direct client, walang middleman. So you end up getting all the benefits directly and you can also negotiate um, better since yung kausap mo is the decision maker itself. So how can you know if the job posting is from a direct client? Just like when I look for red flags kapag yung job post might be um, reeking of a scam, when I look for direct clients, it's the same thing. I also look for certain markers and um, this is what I noticed having been in this industry for almost a decade now. Full disclosure, this is not always 100% foolproof. However, I noticed that it is and oftentimes a great indication. The first indication is that usually direct clients will talk about their company. So let's go on over to onlinejobs.ph and I will show you what I mean by that. Okay, so what I did is so onlinejobs.ph, I plugged in appointment setter and then the so first page, I opened the first five job postings and we'll go ahead and check them to see if it has any indication that they could come from a direct client. The first indication is that usually direct clients will talk about their business. So let's go ahead and check. Okay. For example, for this one, it says here that they're looking for a dedicated phone appointment setter to handle my prospecting needs. So it goes to show agad na yung nagsulat, they're referring to their own needs. So, needs nila. Specifically, needs nila. Let's check about this one. This one, it says that they're looking for a social media specialist who will actively promote Yokely. If you go ahead and check so Google, Yokely is a company. So, uh, makikita mo ngayon na sila mismo, sila yung nangangailangan. So, this goes to show na this is likely coming from a direct client. The second indication is that they will most often than not talk about their exact and specific needs. So, si direct client, alam nila kung ano ba specifically yung kailangan nila. And usually, they will be able to articulate that sa job posting. So, going back to this one, ang kailangan nila specifically is a social media specialist who will actively promote their company sa social media platforms. So, ano bang kailangan? Magkikreate ng content plan, magmamanage ng campaigns, magpa-plan and coordinate ng creatives, magmo-monitor and magre-reply sa mga inquiries, and any other activities pertaining to their social media. So as you can see, very specific yung needs nila. Alam nila kung anong kailangan nila. Alam nila kung anong hinahanap nila. And um, when you go through the job post, makikita mo agad. Ikaw mismo, alam mo ngayon kung ano ba yung ina-expect sa'yo nung kampanyang to, nung client na to. Now let's go back to this, the first one. For this one, they're looking for a phone appointment setter to handle their prospecting needs. Tingnan natin kung nag-indicate ba sila kung ano yung specific nila na needs. Ang sabi nila, you log into our dialer system each day. Magpo-provide sila ng prospect list. Gagamitin mo yung script na ipo-provide nila, we provide. And you need to have conversations with any homeowners who answer the phone. 
So, dito mismo, naka-indicate, ano ba yung gagawin mo? Sino yung kakausapin mo? Ano yung sasabihin mo? So, from the get-go, you know what to expect. Alam mo kung what they're expecting from you, what they're asking from you, and um, ano yung kailangan mo service na ibigay when you apply to them. The last indication that I look for is that the job posting doesn't sound bad. Very much like tayo kapag nagsisend tayo ng copy-paste ng mga um, proposals, it's very much similar. If you go through job postings all the time, you will have an indication. You'll see, uh, uh, you'll get the feel of the job postings na pare-pareho lang. And it will definitely show sa job posting sila. I'll give you an example. So this is the first job post. Check natin if it will follow the three criteria that I mentioned. Did they talk about their company? Did they talk about their specific needs? And does it sound can? So they're looking for an appointment setter, sales agent. Um, they said to our team, yung ideal. Ayan. Uh, speak English well, communicate, warm leads. Okay, so as you can see, hindi specific, um, very generic, it sounds really can. Kasi um, it can apply to any appointment setting gig, diba? So if you have like 10 appointment setting gigs, you won't be able to differentiate them from each other kasi yung job posting nila is um, applicable for those 10. So, this is an example of a canned job posting. This one mukha siyang mahaba, but it also sounds like a generic canned posting. The reason for this is, as you can see, very generic siya. Walang any information that sounds specific, that sounds like they're talking to a specific company or to their specific need. If um, you have like a lineup of 10 Appointment setting jobs, this particular posting can be applicable to all of that. So this one also sounds like a canned posting and can likely come from an agency. So if you look into this particular job posting, mahaba lang siya, pero somehow yung concept is the same with the first appointment setting post that we look into. So as you can see, it's very generic and can be applicable to any appointment setting gig out there. And sa mga ganitong job postings, it's likely that this came from an agency or to someone who's a recruiter. Yung sometimes may mga tao na um, ang trabaho lang nila is to recruit people. This sounds like a typical job post coming from that person. And because of those factors, I will think that this is unlikely to come from a direct client. So I would probably skip this particular job post and head on to the next one. So again, the three markers that I look out for to indicate that a job posting comes from a direct client is one, they will usually talk about their company. Two, they will articulate their specific needs. And third, the job posting doesn't sound canned. So again, mga general guidelines lang naman to, mga markers lang that I look out for. It's not written in stone, it's not always foolproof, but based on my experience, it's always a great indication. So I hope that this tip has helped you. And if you find it helpful, please do like it. And also remember to subscribe to the channel so that you're always updated once we have new videos available. Thanks again for watching.